ba, ba, ba. What's up guys? My name is Kate. We are talking about stretching your ears and what not to do. So first thing that irks me is when I talk to people and ask them, oh, how did you get to the size that you're at? They say, oh, I just popped in a silicone tunnel, let it pop out, and then shoved an acrylic in there so it didn't heal around the silicone. Someone actually told me to do that at Hot Topic. Silicone is something that you don't wanna stretch with just because what a lot of people like to do is they will take their silicone tunnel, fold it up, let it pop out, and boom, new size, you're happy because you sized up and you're closer to your dream size that you so desperately wanna be at. The issue with that is silicone really sticks to your skin. It's not breathable, it traps bacteria and doesn't allow your ears to heal the way they really should. Using silicone to stretch your ears can obviously cause blowouts, um, tears in your ears, and which can lead to infection. There have been people that have lost chunks of their ear skin by using this method. They have had to take their plugs out, let them heal, let them downsize, and restart, um, which can take loads of time. Another method that I really uh, dislike is stretching with tapers. And even just, you look at a taper and think, yeah, this is to stretch my ears, I shove it in and it slowly expands my ear and I'm at a new size, this is the best option. It's not so bad when you get, when you're going from like a standard uh, pierced ear to like a 2G. Once you get past that, you really start risking blowouts um, and overstretching your ears. The O-rings on tunnels aren't uh, really made to fit that tapered end. They are for the the very the biggest part of the taper and to keep them in there. Um, and you just you can't slowly stretch your ear really with a taper and make sure that you're doing it in a healthy way to keep your ears happy. Um, and it's very common to overstretch. Another uh, big issue with tapers is a lot of times, especially when you're buying them at uh, a store like Hot Topic or Spencer's, a lot of them are acrylic, which really isn't good for your ears. Um, so I would recommend if you have to stretch with tapers and you're at a relatively small size, do so with stainless steel. So those are the stretching methods that I would avoid. If you wanna see what I would recommend to stretch your ears, go ahead and check out that video. Um, I will post a link down below if you wanna check that out and make sure that your ears are happy and healthy and can stay stretched for a very long time. Thank you guys, see you later.